The gentlewoman from Connecticut is recognized. I, I might just add, uh, 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 and with to just a quick moment to uh, indicate to my colleague, who is um, my friend, that in fact uh, we, we did check with other uh, departments and agencies, and particularly with FEMA, and to find out uh, what they might have in stocks. And FEMA currently has on hand formula for 550 infants for one week. So in fact, we don't have other federal agencies that do have a stock of infant formula. And what we have said in the legislation, that the FDA must report to House and Senate Appropriations Committee on a weekly basis of where the money is being used, how it's being used, so that we have accountability. And with that, I am really honored to uh, uh, provide three and a half minutes to the gentleman from Georgia. Uh, and, and my colleague, Congressman Bishop, who chairs the Appropriations Subcommittee on Agriculture. This is coming through his subcommittee. He has been a tireless fighter on this issue and making sure that our kids are safe. And to that end, uh, he will be as uh, you know, talking with the director of the Food and Drug Administration uh, uh, tomorrow morning. So he has been uh, really uh, at the center of this, of this effort. And it pleases me to really yield to the gentleman from Georgia, Congressman Bishop. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized for three and a half minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the gentlelady for yielding, and I thank you for your passion and compassion in confronting this issue. As chairman of the House Appropriations Subcommittee on Agriculture, Rural Development, Food and Drug Administration, and related agencies, I'm glad to support Chair DeLauro as we address the infant formula crisis facing America. We're working towards ensuring that parents and other caregivers have access to safe and affordable nutrition for the babies in their care. The emergency funds allocated by this bill will help safely expedite the inspection of the country's infant formula supply and quickly get it back on the shelves of stores across the country. But we must also address how such a crisis came to pass in the first place. How did a manufacturer a company responsible for over 40% of our nation's infant formula supply have an unclean facility? How was this such situation left unchecked? And how did it lead to hospitalization and the death of babies? Congress will be scrutinizing this crisis with the FDA and manufacturers in the days ahead. I look forward to my subcommittee hosting the first hearing in this regard with the FDA Commissioner Robert Califf tomorrow morning. I've often stood on this very floor to tout the importance of the FDA and how it touches every single family and every life in America. Today is a stark reminder of that fact. The FDA is at the forefront of our system of checks to ensure that our food and our medicine, including infant formula, meet the nutritional standards, the nutritional needs, and that they are safe for our consumers. We must ensure the safety of and the reestablish Americans' confidence in the infant formula that they purchase. That means getting more inspectors out in the field to make sure that the drive for corporate profit does not compromise infant formula safety. It also means making sure families are not being sold fake formula are subjected to price gouging from bad actors and hoarders looking to take advantage of the crisis. I've heard from families who are distraught at the news of this crisis. They want to know how a tainted product got to the market. How come there's not enough baby formula to replenish your store shelves? And what we are doing to make sure they have access to safe baby formula and quickly. This bill provides the funds to improve the safety of, to reduce fraud in, and to better understand the pressures and vulnerabilities of the infant formula market. It helps address the shortage we face today while getting us the data we need to prevent this from happening again. Families are willing to make tremendous sacrifices for the investments in the safety and well-being of their children. Making sure their children is fed is one of the most fundamental concerns that parents face. 
by passing this bill, Congress is standing up for our families. I urge my colleagues, pass this bill. Pass this bill. Let's make sure that the children, the infants in America, have safe and available formula. Thank the gentlewoman you. from Connecticut reserves, the gentlewoman from Texas is recognized. I yield the gentleman from Maryland, the acting ranking member of Agriculture Subcommittee, Dr. Harris, for five minutes.